It's telling what a little rain can do. In Lagunitas Creek in West Marin County, streams are gushing with water, reservoirs cresting over spillways. Further upstream, San Geronimo Creek looks nothing like it did in September as it remained in the clutches of drought. A lot of these creeks were bone dry. Uh, fish were stuck in puddles and it's just a bleak sight in the fall. But today, the creek is flowing and just in time to host nature's annual rite, the return of the coho salmon. Well, after the long drought and the vast amount of rain we've recently gotten, we're seeing a large slug of coho salmon moving up here. The Lagunitas watershed is among the state's last spawning grounds for endangered coho salmon. It's a three-year cycle from when the fish head to the ocean to when they come back. You're watching something that's been occurring for 10,000 years in this watershed, the reemergence of life from the ocean. So we have a bunch of coho salmon on a riffle here. Todd Steiner of the environmental group Turtle Island Restoration Network points out a salmon nest called a red. There must be four or five. Where a female salmon is getting ready to lay her eggs under the careful watch of several male suitors. And so the female with the white tail digs the nest and her tail is actually white from the digging. In the last couple years, Steiner's group completed a major restoration of the creek in the former San Geronimo golf course. The group knocked down an old dam and enlarged the creek's banks to slow its flows during big storms. So as the water levels occur during the big storms, the baby fish can move to the sides where the water's slower. It's a project with an eye toward changing climate. Now with climate change, it's really important that we did this work and widen the creek because we're getting these more and more severe storms. The return of the fish has brought the return of their admirers. Along Lagunitas Creek, San Geronimo Creek, there's families out, there's kids. Everyone is here to look for the fish. After taking a pandemic-inspired break, Turtle Island is bringing back its popular winter creek walks. And we walk the riverbanks from a trail and look for fish. Though the sight of so many returning fish is encouraging, it will take several months before their numbers can be tallied to truly gauge the health of the population. But in the meantime... It's just amazing that this life history event is occurring. Joe Rosado Jr. Incredible. NBC Bay Area News.